guys, it's Kara here at Butter Booze. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these awesome um, water balloons that you can use. They, I, you can put them in a bucket full of water. The kids love them. They soak up so much water. You can throw them. They're softer. They don't leave little balloon pieces all over your yard. They are washable and reusable, which is so cool. Also, they have tons of different colors of Bernay um, blanket yarn you can use to make each kid different colors and they can have their own little war. These are awesome. My husband and I love, 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 love these. So, to begin, you'll need a 9mm crochet hook. I am using um, just this plastic one here. You can buy metal or bamboo, whatever you'd like. You need your darning needle, your scissors, and your Brene blanket. I'm going to be making it in royal blue. So to start, I like to start with the magic loop. You do, um, you hold your yarn, your tail end, with your pinky and your ring finger. Wrap the yarn from underneath over your index and your middle and back around. Go under that first loop, grab that second little string, kind of come up a little bit twisting that loop. Then you can grab your working yarn right there and it creates like a secure loopy here. So then we will work all of our stitches for round one into this loop. You can work over your tail, don't worry about it. You're gonna use that to kind of cinch it tight. Um, so to begin, we will chain two, which counts as our first double crochet. So we want a total of eight double crochets into this center loop here. So we're going to um, double crochet seven more times because this counts as our first one. So one, two, three. So remember to do a double crochet, you yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over, pull up, you have three loops, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the next two. So we have four. One, two, three, four. Double crochets are really easy to count. You can just count the posts. So we need four more. We have our eight double crochets. We're going to use this tail end here and we're going to pull. See how it has like a hole here? We're going to use our tail end and we're going to pull our work together. And see, it cinched it closed. Now we are going to slip stitch into our first chain two. So here's our last stitch that we made. We're going to slip stitch into our first chain two. So a slip stitch, you just push through, yarn over, and pull through the stitch you went through plus the loop on your hook. Okay, so now we're going to chain two, one, two, which does count as our first stitch. And we're going to do two double crochets into each stitch around. So that will increase from eight to 16. So we have one, two, And you just kind of have to feel for your next stitch there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So now we've reached our last stitch. We have 16 double crochets. We are going to slip stitch into that first chain two to bring the round together and then we'll chain two and now we will do one double crochet into each stitch around so that is a total of 16 double crochets and remember this counts as your first one so here's one here's two So now we will slip stitch into that first chain two to bring that round together. Now we are going to chain two and we are going to decrease this row from 16 stitches, which we just did on round three. Now round four, we are going to decrease, giving us eight stitches. So in order to decrease, we're going to be working through two stitches to bring them into one stitch. So in order to do that, we yarn over, we go through this first stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch. So that leaves us with three loops. Then we're going to go into that next uh, stitch below. So we went into this one first, we're going to go into the second one. We're gonna push our hook through, we're going to yarn over. Now we have four loops on our hook we're going to go through the yarn over and go through the first three loops. Yarn over, go through the next two loops. So that's bringing um, two stitches into one. So we are decreasing. So yarn over, go into the next stitch. Now, when looking at it, you need to make sure that you're not going into the same one. So to do that, you can see this little post here and you can kind of pull up and see that it's going into this stitch right here. We don't want to go into that one. We want to go into this one. So we yarn over, go into this one, yarn over, pull up, go into the next one, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, go through three of the loops on the hook, yarn over, go through the last two loops. And we just continue that process around where we should have eight decreases. So we've done two now. Here is three. Here is four. Here is five. Here is six. Here is seven. And eight is our last one. Eight decreases. So then we will slip stitch into that first chain two bringing round four together. Now for round five, we chain two and we're going to decrease again. We're gonna decrease all of our stitches, giving us a total of four stitches. You can kind of tuck that tail down in there <clears throat> if it's hanging out. 
So remember yarn over, go through the next stitch and go through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, go through three loops, yarn over, go through two. So that's one, two, and do this one slow so you can see the decrease. Yarn over, into the loop, yarn over, we have three, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, you have four, yarn over, go through three, yarn over, go through two. Okay, and our last decrease here, that'll bring us back down to four double crochets on this round five. Slip stitch into that first chain two. Now we are going to chain one and we are going to increase each of the four stitches um, to a total of eight double cro or eight single crochet rather. Um, so we will put two single crochets into each of the four. So here we'll go one, two, next one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we just slip stitch into that first stitch that we made of the round. Kind of clip your yarn pretty close. And then you will just take your darning needle, kind of fold your end over like this, shove the, your little yarn through it, pull it, and just weave that end through your work so that it does not come out. It doesn't have to be any kind of way special. Just kind of tying it through there this yarn stays pretty well once you get it weaved in so I just shove it through in different places and clip off the little end bits and it should be just fine. You can tie a little knot if you'd like. If you feel better doing that it's fine. And then you just clip off your little excess yarn bit and there you have your first little water balloon.